This is way creepier than it was before because... <gasps> Hello, PSS, it's Lidacy, and welcome to Detention. Today we'll continue from last episode, so if you haven't watched last episode, make sure to check it out at the top right. Okay, so first of all, we have this uh, dark figure where when we touch it, we're gonna be transformed into the dark realm. I'm not quite sure what's so good about this realm. Uh, we can go through here. Oh, now we're at school. Okay, uh, what's going on? Anything at the right side? Let's check this out. Oh, we can go upstairs. Uh... We can go into this classroom. The door is blocked by an unknown force. Probably ghosts or something blocking the door. Anything on this side? Oh, we can go through, the, through here. It's like the whole school is open. What's over here then? And then we go through here. Oh, who's that? Who is? Someone, someone was there. You saw him, guys, right? The bonfire of hope is almost depleted, diminished in the wind. Now we have a group of kids over here. All reading something. Some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. What, what the heck are they reading? They're reading some sort of sacred ritual stuff. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yin? Is it about the new books? I've already given the list to Mr. Chang. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure out something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Yeah, these are definitely some sacred books. Soon, the book club might come to an end. Hmm. Miss Yen, why are things like this? I'm sorry, wait, there's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chang never bought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ha <laughs> I know I can always count on you. Clipping, blacklisted to return home for burial. Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Sui Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. How is martial law gonna help for that? Are you gonna fight the government or something with martial law? We can't go through here. So let's go back. They were talking about Miss Yin. Uh, Miss Yin was our teacher too. So it's kind of weird to see how she relates to politics. Like what the heck? Okay, let's go to this side. There's a door here we can go through. Uh, let's go to this door. Oh, this is the light side. Hello, light side. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere and I will follow you like a shadow. Okay. Uh, the door handle is broken. I can't get in. We can go back though. Now we're at school. This is way creepier than it was before because... <gasps> Hello? Hello? Who can be calling at a time like this? Principal's office, right? Is that the principal's office? Wait! Wait, that's what we said before! That's our past, literally. And now, you see how we're a bit transparent? What the heck is going on? Let's try, let's try going upstairs from here, maybe? Because the path downstairs from there is blocked and we can't go downstairs over here. Anything we can do? Can we go through here? Can I open this door? Wait, who's this? This is me again. The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. Wait, that's also what we said before. That's literally what we said before as well. That is so weird. Oh, and everything there is uh, on fire. Hey, what are you doing? You just moved. Oh, you're moving. Oh, oh my gosh, that is cool. But I can't open this door. What do I do? Wait, wait, wait. I think I know what to do. We go down. We go down. We go to the left. We go up. And to the right. And you see how the shadow is not here? Now if we go through this door, the shadow should be at the other side, right? Right over here. Yeah, hell yeah. Remember when you enrolled? So full of passion. Participating in every school activity. Showing off your academic abilities. Grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then, things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you choose. What do we choose? <laughs> To escape, to turn a blind eye, or to grim acceptance. Now to escape kind of sounds horrible because I don't know what kind of escape method she'll use. I don't want her to kill herself or something. 
because that's not a good escape. Uh, to turn a blind eye. That's kind of ignorant. That's that's sort of like the same thing as escaping, but just like depression. So I, su I suppose grim acceptance. I accept it. Dot dot dot. Okay, well now uh, let's go through this door. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. So remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. There can't be any intact book pages, or else it would be for naught. Hey, Wei, you're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight, is that true? Yeah, that is true, we read that earlier. I'm not sure, she never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yen, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is, do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Stop asking questions, I am as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this, we don't want to get caught. Okay, so we're, they were burning the books. There's a paper over here. What does it say? A written verdict from court. A torn piece of the verdict. Chang Ming Hui, district level educator, is found guilty with students' way and others of collision with the communist forces. Chang Ming Hui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Chong Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading of prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. So there was communist text on it? Literally way, the student in our school got sentenced to 15 years in jail for just reading prohibited texts with rebellious and corrupt thoughts. Let's go back. Oh, hello. Hello, mister. Where are you going? Wait, is that Wei? There's no way that's Wei. Who is that? Is that Chung? Is that Mr. Chung? Oh, he went in here. What's in here? The bathroom. This is a locked door. Let's see what's on it. The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. A signature. Hmm. Remove the broom? Yeah. We remove the broom. And now let's see what's inside. Okay. Uh, a warped school area? What's going on? Oh no, it's the melody. It's the melody. Oh, and they continue playing it. It's not just like five notes. He's playing it. Okay. Hi. Sir? Now we're back in the the bad world. Let's see what's on this note. Note entry. That time, in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary, a last word, because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried to an unmarked grave, leaving me a discrepant man. I think that's the grave that we saw earlier, that was unmarked. You guys remember? Didn't, there didn't seem to be a body underneath as well. Now, I don't know if, uh, if by that leap he's talking about me. Because right now I'm a ghost, and also, uh, we saw that vision. You guys remember that sort of vision that we had? I hope it's not me. Where are we going? Over here? I'm still wondering who the man is. Oh, save zone. This is an altar for praying. Save progress? Of course. Okay, let's go back. We're in this area again. This is the area I've been at before. We can't go outside this time. We can only go to the left. Oh, here's another vision of us. There is a note on the cart. Yeah, these are literally things that we said in the past because there was a cart here. And there was a note on it, so... Yeah, we said that. Let's go into this room. Light switch. Hello? Uh... Oh, you stop. Okay. Is there anything over here? Do we want you to stop? Well, let's, let's uh, turn into you. Light switch. Uh... Turn back. Come here. You coming? Oh, you can't. Because the light, yeah. Let's turn this off and walk to the left. And they should stop right here. Acting immediately on one's determination. This is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? What should we pick? Take hold of your destiny, live a laid back life, or submit to one's fate. I don't think the last one is good. Maybe the first one, take hold of your destiny. That is a charming thought. So life has gained the goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Okay, so I assume we didn't pick the correct answer last time because she, she just did the dots. Uh, can we go through? We can go through. Okay. No matter how many times this replays, 
Nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. Okay. Police officer? That's me and a police officer right there. Instructor Bai. Oh, it's Bai. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Hmm. Miss Fang, the country appreciates your assistance. Oh, and that's what that's what they said in the telephone thing. So we ratted them out. We ratted we ratted them out for reading prohibited books. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Quietly accept, try to take them back, or calm indifference? I think try to take them back. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You stilled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You are me. Okay, we did it right that time as well. So we tried to take them back. Let's go. Now we just walk into the left. Where are you going, mister? I still don't know who they are. Hello? You're going upstairs? Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, we're at the roof. And we're not so invisible anymore. We're just a tiny bit glowing. Hello? Uh. You're smoking. Uh, this is the place where we jumped off at our vision. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Oh, we went downstairs and this showed up. Memories are like a mirror, reflecting the true likeness of your soul. Uh, okay. Let's go downstairs. Oh, another one. Maybe you still want to forget. Maybe you're still afraid. Let's continue. Oh, and now we're in we're in a dark place. This is where the cages were. I'm pretty sure. Facing your own aspiration, but not confessing to the truth. I am you. Yet you are not me. Oh, everything is disappearing. Uh, what's going on? What is that? Constantly cycling over and over with only the river Sanzu at the end of your journey. Yet the knot of sin still lies unsolved. The bridge leading to Paramita lies in collapse. So the Requiem, with a warm crescendo, welcomes you once again. Okay. Oh, you're looking at us. I don't like that. Uh, we hear crying? Pretty sure we hear, we hear, yeah, we hear crying. We're going into this door. Oh, now there is a show here. Let's go upstairs. People are clapping. Okay. Hello? Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. You all stop clapping. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Can I escape? I can't escape. Oh my god. What do I do? Can I do anything other than this? Guess I suppose we put it on. We don't have much else to do. Oh no. Oh no. This is horrible. Oh god. Now the school is abandoned. So that whole game we played as a ghost. Is that what they're trying to tell us? And that is why everything was so messed up. Oh, wow, wow. Well, that was the tension. Music, Wei Fang Chang. Oh, why, why did the music? That was... A pretty good game, honestly, like, the story is really chilling though. From what I assume, everything we've witnessed is from our ghost perspective. So the list was actually a book list of books that the government didn't want us to read for some reason because they, they had to do with the communism. Okay, and we got an achievement called Everyone Loves You. So we both ratted the people out for uh, reading those books. And we both had all these stuff in our lives, like uh, family issues, uh, the whole teacher romance thing, and then he ended up leaving us. 
If you guys enjoyed this series, leave your opinions down below in the comments, and maybe even like the video. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.